Welcome back to basic designing lessons in CAD CAD As previously I have explained to you how to design the supporting plate for brake pad. In this video I am going to explain you how to design the friction surfaces for the brake pad. So as you know that uh, these are made up of ceramic materials. Uh, why ceramic materials? Because of their ability to withstand a high heat condition. So where does this heat comes from? So to explain this, let me take you to the complete assembly for this brake pad and disc. So this red one is the caliper. Here are, you can see this is the disc and here are two brake pad uh, cylinders here. So what actually happens that when you apply the brake or you can you press the brake pedal, the rotating disc is squeezed by these two brake pads. So, in this process, the friction comes in between these two types of surfaces on both sides. So, when friction comes into place, it generates heat. Generation of heat that means it's going to increase the temperature. So, in the high temperature conditions, these ceramic materials work very badly. So after a long time when you apply too much brake pad, this is what happens that it is worn out and uh, after how much kilometer it depends upon your brake pad. So now the other thing about these friction surfaces is it that uh, there are groups. So why these are groups here? Because uh, what actually happens that uh, the heat generated needs to be dissipated in any way. So these groups are there so that uh, it can work as a air duct. So air passes through these ducts so when we apply the pressure or not. At that time it takes away some of the heat so that uh, the life of this brick pad can be increased. So this is uh, why these are available in brick surfaces. Now let me take you to the drawing of this brick surfaces. Uh, a rough drawing these values are not again the exact values but i have tried to keep them real so let's just start with the designing process mechanical design part design and here we can insert the name fix them surface hit ok now from here select any plane expert plane is ok for me go to sketch now let's draw the circles here I want it to be exactly at the origin. Now let's give it just some dia. And it is 108. Radius is 108. So I'm going to double it. It is 216. Now it's time to draw the another circle. And uh, its radius is 200 mm. Just, I will just insert the values on the center. There is some defined distance between these two centers according to the drawing so I will fix this distance and it is around uh, 27.604 let's insert that value 27.604 hit ok after it and now time to draw a line so consider the origin point as the starting point and then let's draw it and the angle it is going to be 17.103 degree after inserting that let's remove the axis curve from here so not that one not even this one so let's press control for Z to undo it bring back both of them and uh, let's get the another line by doing the mirror option so click on mirror and after that select the line you want the mirror section with and then the axis and uh, this way our curve so now I can remove easily the axis surfaces now the curve this one is the axis axis even this one so I have removed all the sketches of the curves which I don't desire for now Guys, at this point, uh, it is possible that you do not understand what actually going here. I will explain you that thing in a bit. Uh, this 
before that let's remove the these the sharp edges as you know that sharp edges are not good for strength point of view uh, actually what happens that these sharp edges these increases the problem of stress concentration so what happens in stress concentration is it that at sharp edges where there is low area the concentration of stress is more at that area so the air may start some kind of cracks they are most susceptible to them so in most of the time we must remove the sharp edges so i have smoothened them all uh, by putting the stain radius 1.5 mm so here is this so now time to draw some excess lines here now i want to fix it to distance from this y axis most of the time i try to do this thing from y axis because uh, these are fixed axis so i don't have to care about these old things uh, to i mean to constrain them from any other line it is not that much good it increases the complexity in that condition so most of the time i try to concentrate them from y axis or x axis even if it is angle so according to the drawing the distance was 21.913 so i have tried to put that one so here is this line now time to draw a rectangle here here is this rectangle now let's fix it dimensions what actually right now i'm doing is it that uh, i am drawing this part and let me show you this curvature part upper and the lower i have drawn the circle the 2d image and then right now i am going for the whole part i mean the slot part to be exactly uh, the slot part that uh, will come for the warming contact i am dimensioning that thing i have dimensions according to the drawing so it is easier for me to just to go for them so let's put this values exact german it is the starting point and uh, now i need to fix this thing with this curve or going side it uh, click both point and then click on continue here and just and click it now time to remove this extra curves again let me zoom in so that i can see it better yeah i have removed all these things now again go for it. this smoothing of this sharp edges thing already explained to you that uh, stress con concentration is not good for material strength point of view so here okay now we have made this whole curve let's check out the curve stress analysis everything is closed now click on exit workbench pad oh there is some kind of problem i don't know what Uh, it was some kind of over constraint as you can see the red line here so you can go back it will never work if uh, you are not going to remove that red condition or that over constraint con condition it is never going to go for its perfect set now suppose that for now i didn't saw it so i will go back let's assume it is that i will go back i didn't saw it anywhere i saw everything is closed to everything is green i did not for the red part so i will click on exit workbench but again the problem will come let me show you this thing see this sketch is either over constrained or inconsistent so if i click ok here i will put the dimensions will be ok it's gonna show me there's some problem so i will have to go back still this way i cannot go back so i will click on part body after pressing escape double click on sketch here you saw that red curve 
that is the problem over consistent so what happens uh, this green color means uh, is it that uh, let me go right here okay it is 10 mm okay for now so the meaning of seeing that all that color is it that uh, the green color is the perfect one which is uh, the meaning of constant thing that means it, it is fixed thing it is not gonna rotate if you draw any type of sketch and you give reference from here it is good thing it is the best thing you can do in Katia yeah? you would like to have everything in green color that is the perfect way for the designer if it is red it means it is over oh, over constant or inconsistent which is not good so the simplest way to make your curve consistent is with that uh, you fix them with respect to the x-axis y-axis or you can even go through the another procedure this thing like if i am going to give the angle two times and it is gonna create the problem so this way we have created this thing now uh, as we have even created the plot for that uh, brick warning contact connector now it's time for us to draw the group so let's project the 3d object first let's draw a line i want it to be parallel to this thing okay so for that group let's put the value of this angle it was around 17.103 let's double click on it and let's put the value in 99 17.103 it is gonna be the exact one so here it comes the exact angle now again for that groove i just want to increase its length and uh, i'm gonna increase it to more value i just want it to more than this 3d design part so that i can easily design the curve design that curve which is gonna move according to this line let's take a mirror image no not this time we can use it by another way i will show you click on exit work branch now let's create that cross section which is gonna move along that line what we are actually gonna do that we will click on plot option and then we will go to cut a cross section in that line it is not a straight line you know that that there is some kind of angle between y axis and that line so here it is hard for me to design that line i don't know where it is going so i will try something else although i can go from here it's easy for me to go but i will make it easier for you to show you this thing so let's try something else so that we can visualize it betterly okay what we can do we can generate one more plane and we can go nearby to this thing so let's increase this value let's try 50 it is good we want it to be more near to that line and that no it looks like it is inside that surface let's try 80 let's try 90 90 is the best i think closer to it click on that plane click on sketch now let's zoom it yeah you can see 
even the line is here and uh, we can draw it better later we can even visualize these things easily which was not easy last time although the reading will be correct if we are gonna use a little bit of mind but why we should if we have better options here so let me project it one more try no it is not that good just press control z and remove the pin and we are going to draw to another one let's draw the cross section now just show you a better view here yeah. i don't want it till the next one that's why i projected that image now remove these two okay click on exit open now go for the slot click on both lines click ok so this way we have created the group very easy option now for another one i would not like to go for the same procedure let me show you in another way just to looking for a 3d option go to insert transformation features translations not mirror and uh, click on this slot and then click on the axis which is gonna remove this thing so this way it has rotated uh, not rotated but mirrored this thing and uh, we have got our slot in the easiest way now we can go through the same procedure we used last time so this way we have again designed this groups very easy to work with I hope that you like this video. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching this video.